to my channel and today I have a very special guest from YouTube and that's Tina 2% and she wanted to learn about a vegan dressing so I thought I would invite her over to my house and have her prepare one of my favorite dressings that I use for everything literally so what we have for ingredients um, is apple cider vinegar liquid aminos, olive oil, nutritional yeast, and I have here about five, was it six garlic cloves, okay? Um, so what do you think? You ready to get into this? I'm ready. She, I'm ready. You Let's wanna, do you this. You wanna learn how to make a vegan dressing? Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, and also you're gonna need one cup measuring cup mm -hmm. that that's what it is <laughs> you need a half a cup, a cup. measuring mm -hmm. one half cup measure measuring cup, cup. Mm -hmm. how do you say that half a cup measuring yeah uh, a measuring half, cup a half, half a, a cup half a cup measuring cup yeah mm -hmm. okay. and then you need yeah. one third cup measuring cup measuring cup okay and mm -hmm. you also need some salt just a little bit not a lot just a pinch now you can add to this, you can add um, some a pinch of cayenne pepper, you can add pepper flakes if you want to for a little spice, you can add in hot sauce if you want to, if you want to give it a little punch or spice to it. The first thing we're going to start with is the oil. So you want to use your extra virgin olive oil, we're going to start with one cup. Okay, so go ahead and take the top off of there. Mm -hmm. cup? Yep, one cup. I'm letting her do all the work. <laughs> I could have did the video, but I told her, I said, you know what? There's nothing like learning for yourself. So I invited her over so she can learn how to do it herself. Exactly. Well, I wanted to learn how to make my own salad dressing. And nope, uh, keep going. You need a cup. It's my cup. It's I can add. You got a cup. Instead of buying it in the store, was there a healthier way to do it that mm -hmm. tastes good? Right. So that's what we're here for. That's what you're, that's that's what you're here for. for. All right, now put that in there. Mm -hmm. oh <laughs> It'd be a good time to go, could you, could you go? I know. Oh my gosh. I'm like, come on, don't do this. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So the next. Cup of oil. Okay. Next, we're going to take our one-third measuring cup. Hey, I got it right. One-third measuring cup. That's right. And you're going to add in your other liquids, which is the apple cider vinegar, liquid aminos, and then also one-third cup of water. Okay. So go ahead and do your so one-third cup. Yeah. One third. Now, if you want to, you can hold this above and just okay. pour it like that. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that because I was... I was uh, doing a little too much on the other one. No, you did it right. You want it all the way to the top. To the tippy tippy top. And pour it in. Right? You can count. You want her. Okay. <laughs> Don't hurt the counter. Yeah, I know the word. Now we do the same thing with the liquid aminos. It's so one third of the liquid. Correct. There you go. Okay. And last but not least, we're going to add one third cup of water. I try to stay precise on the measurements here because it helps keep the balance of the flavors. Now we're going to move on to putting in nutritional yeast. This requires a half a cup. You do a little bit more of nutritional yeast, it's okay. Um, it's not, doesn't change it that much. It just changes the, how thick it is and maybe give it a little bit more flavor. But other than that, you can you don't have to be exact. You can keep going a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can be generous with nutritional yeast, everyone. She put it exactly me, I just kinda, cause I love nutritional <laughs> yeast, I just, I pile it in there. Now we're gonna add in the garlic cloves. Okay. Just right on in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just pop them in. And they're like that. Just add in like a pinch of salt. I'll take two pinches of salt. Okay, my pinch was kind of little. 
Okay. <laughs> They're pinchy. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Other than, like I said, other than that, you can add in hot sauce, red pepper flakes. You can add in some cayenne pepper. That would give it a little bit more of a, a spiciness. Or you can add in um, black pepper if you want to. If you want that a little bit more of a peppery taste, you can do that. I choose not to, so I kind of leave it like that. However, some people prefer a little spiciness to it, a little kick. So with that being said, now here comes the fun part. Blend. Woo All right, now I'm gonna have her taste this. I'm trying this. There you go. This is now, I'm hoping she doesn't like this because this is my dressing. That way I won't have to make any more. This is uncut. <laughs> I won't have to make any more if she doesn't like it. There's a, there's a familiar, familiarity to the taste I'm tasting right now. I'm not sure what it is. But that's not bad. Not bad? Not bad at all. Yeah, you think it's something you could put on the salad? Yes. <laughs> I do. I don't know. It tastes like something familiar. And I just can't think of where I've tasted Let's something see. similar. I don't know why I'm tasting like I've never tasted before. No way. So listen, <laughs> but everybody is different. You know, you can, it's not bad you can use, it's follow not bad. a recipe and everyone, every like I said, I generally add more garlic and more nutritional yeast on mine. Let's see. Mm. I'm sorry, it's good. <laughs> I, I just, I love this. It's such, it's, to me, it's simple. It's refreshing. It's whole. There's no added preservatives in this. I will say, if you put it in the refrigerator, though, mm -hmm. it will start to gel. Congeal. Okay. Okay. So you can and then it. you have to war let it warm up and whip it up again. Oh, okay. 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 Or you can leave, put it in a jar. Okay. and leave it out on the counter it will stay there for three to four days okay. because all this everything you put in is shelf stable okay if you really think about it okay oil doesn't go bad doesn't okay. need to be in the refrigerator this one it doesn't have to be in the refrigerator none of these ingredients okay. have to be in the refrigerator okay because okay, so, the reason i asked about a salad dressing was because you know with the store-bought ones you know, they want you to kind of be careful how much you put in there. So am I limited to how much I use on this one? Limited like to how much you use at a time? Yeah, on in your salad dressing. Um, can you not use this easily? No, you, you're not limited to how much you put on your dressing um, because it's whole food, mm -hmm. one. The okay. only thing you would be mindful of is calories because oil ha is highest okay. in calories. Okay. 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 So if you're on a weight loss journey and you're looking to lose weight and you're calorie counting, that's when you'd be mindful of how much you're using on your food. Okay. 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 You can pour this on uh, zucchini noodles. You can bake a potato. You can pour it over the baked potato. You can pour it over your vegetables. You can use it as a dip. You can cut up some uh, broccoli, cauliflower, mm -hmm. and use it as a dip. Mm -hmm. You can use it for chips if you want to do. If you want to go unhealthy, <laughs> you can use chips. Okay. <laughs> but it's really an overall dressing type dip. But yeah, so that was only time because you had to think about it. This one here is like one tablespoon is okay. 120 calories. Okay. Well, how many ta tablespoons are in a, a cup? A lot, right? So this are, yes. this whole thing probably is about 800 calories okay. or more. Okay, so could be closer to a thousand. So then, around. yeah. So <laughs> you would you would have to be you know, use it sparingly. Okay. If you're putting it on your salad, okay. but then you have to remember, salad carries is very low in calories. So all your calories is going to be coming from the dressing, from the dressing. right? Okay. So you have to be you have to think about how you're using it. Okay. If you're using like uh, take zucchini, right. like make zucchini noodles. Right. Zucchini very low in calories. So again, all your calories is coming from the, from one thing, not okay. several things. Like if you had a plate of food where you know you would have calories all over the place. So mm -hmm. this one here is just one. So you, in the course of a day, you do have to count your calories. Okay, but. 
Other than that, no, it's no limit to how much you want to use. If you just want to sit there and, and keep using it all day for everything, you mm -hmm. can do that. Okay. It's just that you have to be mindful that oil carries a lot of calories. It's good. You like it? That's not bad at all. Well, I, I wish I chop this up, please. Or slice it up. All right, so now you can taste it with the cucumber. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so it's thin. Yeah, it's, it's, it's it starts thin. out thin. It thickens up. So it does thicken up as it sits. It will thicken up. Better. I can do this. I can do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this will thicken up as it sits because it's just finished blending and it's warm. But as it, you know, because the blender warms okay. it a little bit from the blending but it will thicken up. So when it does, it's like when you put it in your jar, you take a, a, a fork and just whip it up mm -hmm. and then okay. blend again. But it, okay. it thickens up, everyone. It doesn't stay runny like that. I like that. Yeah, it's my favorite, but yeah. Mm. I like that one. Man, I don't like cucumbers. Mm -hmm. I eat cucumbers because mm -hmm. they're good for you, mm -hmm. not because I like them. Mm -hmm. But yeah. This but yeah. Good. Here, go it's ahead. Mine. <laughs> yep, it's yours. Dag nabbit, it means now I gotta make some. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that's right. I'm going to use it. Okay. Yeah. Pour what you can in there. And if anything's left, it'll be for me. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. You might get your wish. Nope, keep going. Keep going. I don't want to spill out. Nope. Keep going. There you go. Right there. Okay. Ooh, I get some. I don't get much. You won't get much. No, I don't no. want it to spill <laughs> out. No, I won't. Yeah. There you go. I call this literally the best dressing ever. If you can say that. I, I call it. It's called best dressing ever. I there's no I don't have a name for it. I was hoping that she would like it, but then I was kind of hoping that you wouldn't like it because then I'll be like, man, I don't have to make it. But it's so simple, it's easy, comes together really fast. Mm -hmm. So, and it's healthy for you. The only thing different, I would say, because I'm so used to store Bart's salad dressing, like Thousand Islands and all those other ones, uh, you know, Caesar. Mm -hmm. So this is good, uh, you know. To I mean, okay, I can taste the difference than <laughs> store bar and this one, mm -hmm. but it's still good. It's still good. I can I can I can d deal with this. This is really good. This is really good. Salad dressing I concocted on my own, and so this one I call it new salad dressing. <laughs> That's the new. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I'm, I'm very creative with the, the best, names. the new, <laughs> <laughs> the best, the new. This one has olive oil. This one, apple cider vinegar, liquid amino. So it starts off basically the same, and garlic, red bell pepper, cilantro, um, or it could be red, green, yellow. I think I had two different colors in there. Seasoning, a no salt seasoning, celery, salt. And then a little pinch of jalapeno. Mm. And this is going to be more of a green dressing okay. because of the cilantro. Okay. So the cilantro is going to take over more and it will blend with the olive oil, the apple cider vinegar, liquid aminos. But it's a green colored uh, dressing. You can see this card. So, <laughs> look, Did I, what are these things? Uh, yeah. Oh, I forgot what you call those it's, cards. They don't even make these anymore. <laughs> I forgot what you call them. I yeah, it's like, I forgot what these cards, guys. These study cards, like. These little cards, yeah. I can, index cards. <laughs> index cards. Index cards. Index cards. Do they make them? I don't think they make these anymore. You can find them. Find. Yeah, yeah, hard to yeah. find. And this is how old this is, honey. I'm going to post the recipe, the ingredients, and the instructions below. And. I hope you guys try it and let me know what you think about this dressing. So you heard it from Tina, 2%. We're going to wrap up this video. I want to thank Miss Tina for coming over. Thank you for having me. And, you know, keeping me company. 
Did I get bored? No, it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, she creates work for me, guys. She's always like, oh, you should do a video on this. You should do a video on that. And I said, okay, you know what? I'm going to come. Be, I'm going to have you come over. That, and popped I said, out, that popped out of nowhere. I really wasn't knowing what I was saying. But when I said it, I was like, oh, that sounds like a video. That right. Is. And I said, you know what? And you're going to come to the video. <laughs> Instead of me sitting up here by myself, I was like, no, you come do the video. Right? Something else gonna pop up. I know, because she always has something. Come up with something. We'll talk but this was fun. Something will pop out. And it was good having her over, someone to talk to. So I appreciate it. I thank you for coming. No, that was and fun. I love it. Oh, I love thank it. Thank you. Thank you. So, all right, we're getting ready to go. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment if you haven't done so. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.